So, just like that, John Aaron was dead. Unfortunately, I'm afraid it's true. The royal seal and the missive were still unbroken when the Raven arrived. That would mean that he passed shortly after I left King's Landing. I will pray to the Seven that his soul receives the welcome it deserves. He was a great man. In his letter, he mentioned being wary of those around him. He feared for his life and talked about enemies of the realm who were preparing to strike. A troubling coincidence. I'll wager it has something to do with the girl. Who knows? In any case, he must have thought her very important. Do you still hope to carry out your mission, Sir Donnelly? Yes. I shall not betray my lord's last wish. I must finish carrying out his orders and find a safe place for the girl. Now that we have an idea of where she is, there is no need to trouble you any longer. Uh, you underestimate the Mole's Town Tunnels. They're quite a labyrinth for newcomers. You'll need my expertise. I would also prefer one of us to accompany you. I'd rather know what's going on in the gift. Very well. I have a host of men waiting south of Castle Black on the way towards Molestown. I hope to meet with them and gather any news before proceeding. Jared, my lieutenant, will have warned my men of our arrival. I'm counting on you, Moors. Report to me when you've finished your mission. We'll leave immediately. I just need to make sure of one last thing. As you wish, sir. Theomar! Dick! Lion! I shall accompany Sir Donnelly to Molestown. His camp is close by. I am counting on you to get there as soon as possible. You must ensure that peace is maintained in the gift. Very well. Let us ride, sir. It's a long way to Molestown. I'm right behind you. John Aaron, dead. I still can't believe it. That lie old fox was tougher than Valerian steel. You know something. Spill it before I scatter your teeth onto the floor. Please, I beg you. I don't know what you're talking about. I swear. I'm but a simple traveling merchant. Enough, Jared. What? Oh, uh, it's you, Sir Godric. This peasant refuses to answer my questions. Leave him alone. You, you can leave. Very well, my lord. Thank you. I haven't finished with him. Yes, you have. No one tortures the people of the gift without good reason. And you'll do what? Hang me like you did my brother? Try it. I could use a laugh. These lands are under the authority of the Night's Watch. I will personally punish any man who cannot restrain his blade or his fists. I'll wait and see. Shut your mouth, Jared. You disgrace us when you speak to Sir Westford that way. But Silence! Return to camp and await me there. Sir Westford, his behavior is unacceptable. I offer my most humble apologies. Just make sure he doesn't delay us. I'll keep an eye on him. How do you plan on finding the girl? John Aaron's letter mentions the whores at the brothel. We'll start there. Do you think they'll talk? The Night's Watch is in charge around here. I've had a few dealings with the local madam before, when sworn brothers, 
found their way to her establishment. If she knows something, I'll soon find out. The hamlet seems tiny. We'll have gone through it in no time. Don't let yourself be fooled. The Moles town is much bigger than it seems. More than three quarters of the town is underground. The underground tunnels were dug by several generations of people. Living below the surface protects them from the cold. And in the midst of the tunnels is the whorehouse. I'm sure that's where we'll find the girl. This much was clear in the letter. I see. So she's hidden among the whores. Few would think to look for her there. Lord John Aaron certainly was a diligent man. Come into my castle with me. May the stranger take me. A crow this far from its home? It's the butcher. Mind yourself with that one. Of course. But we could say this is our territory. We don't approve of strangers stomping around here. Silence your tongue, Ben. You try to get us killed? What should we do, my lord? What are you doing here? We're here on business. Nothing out of the ordinary. Do you think you can easily fool me? I know the both of you. So spill your secrets before I make spill something else of yours. Please, we're only carrying a few goods to help out our friends. Smuggled goods. A girl came through here recently. Did you see her? If a lass had come through here, we'd have noticed it, my lord. Sorry, we've seen nothing. Consider yourself lucky this time around. If I catch you smuggling again, I won't be so lenient. Now, out of my way. Listen to the Black Brother Bran. We will obey you. Things are crossed over, we know about it. They're not letting folk in. They've put up a big door which is always closed. We need a password to get in. It's... Hey, 
There you are at last, young lady. Is that her? Yes. There's no doubt about it. The trail leads right to her. Who are you? I am Moors Westford, a ranger of the Night's Watch. The King's Hand sent us to find you. The Night's Watch? The last time I crossed paths with one of you, he tried to steal from me. the girl that Craven Deserter tried to steal from. He was no longer a brother of ours. He was a traitor to our order, and that was my dog that saved you from him back in the woods. I thought I'd seen that animal before. Enough. Sir Mors, you can leave us now. You have completed your mission, and the Crown will show you its gratitude for this. You aren't a member of the Night's Watch. Indeed. This is Sir Godric Donnelly, Lord Arryn's emissary. He is responsible for your protection. Come with me, Jane. I am here to take you to a safe place. A safe place? I know, Sir Donnelly. You don't look like him at all. Stop with the games, little girl. Go to hell, imposter! Silence! Tell me, child. You say you know Sir Donnelly. Where and when did you last meet him? At King's Landing, a little while before I left. It's because of him that I'm freezing up here. So yes, I do remember his face. Be reasonable, Jane. Our Lord's last wishes were to take you to a safe place, which is exactly what I plan on doing. Liar! Something's rotten here. We'll return to Castle Black and figure out what to do. I'm afraid not, Sir Westford. Do you intend on opposing my Lord's orders? I know full well where my duty lies. This situation would not please the Lord Commander. And it doesn't please me either. Mormont will decide. This matter is closed. Thank you, my lord. I don't understand why you are being so stubborn, Sir Westford. I'm asking you one final time to allow me to leave with the girl. Return to the wall and report that your mission was a success. My mission was to take this girl to safety. And I will. You can plead your case to the Lord Commander. Very well. I was hoping it wouldn't have to come to this, but you leave me no choice. I won't allow anyone to get in my way.
You are tougher than I imagined, Sir Westford. But you haven't heard the last of me. Bloodseekers, here! Kill the crow! Bring the girl back, dead or alive! I'll leave you to talk with my men. Resist if you will, but nothing will stop me from getting my hands on that girl. Not as long as I live. So be it. The Night's Watch. Ghost! Silence! Ma I won't. You are tougher than I imagined, Sir Westford, but you haven't heard the last of me. Bloodseekers, here! Kill the crow! Bring the girl back, dead or alive! I'll leave you to talk with my men. Resist if you will, but nothing will stop me from getting my hands on that girl. Not as long as I live. 
So be it. The Night's Watch. Silence! Ma I won't... Tougher than I imagine, Sir Westford.
Thank you, my lord. If it weren't for you, I would no longer be alive. Follow me. Let's get out of this midden heap quickly before we get trapped here. That imposter thinks he can hide, but I'll hunt him down. brought me here to take in the scenery. These soldiers attacked me when I was leaving Sybil's place, but I gave them a taste of my steel. Do you have any idea what's going on here? The man with me was an imposter pretending to be Godric Donnelly, supposedly acting on behalf of the King's Hand. Be careful, Patrick. This brigand let his dogs loose on the Night's Watch. And they are everywhere. Be careful! said that Warder brought you here. Where is he? Did he not stay with you? Don't worry about him. The cheap wine they serve at the ore house knocked him right out. Considering the circumstances, I'd rather leave him in the ore's capable hands. He'll be thanking the Seven when he wakes up. Seven hells. If we all get out of this mess alive, I'm going to have a talk with him. What's going on, Moors? Why are these men attacking us? The imposter and his men are here for the girl, but it doesn't seem like they plan on protecting her. So, if that man is not Godric, who is he? I'm not certain, but we can worry about that later. For the moment, it's more important to get to Castle Black. We're too exposed here. Thank you for what you've done, my lord, but I'd rather continue on alone. That's out of the question. The Lord Commander would like to talk to you. Furthermore, my old friend John Aaron asked me to protect you, so you're staying with me. Anyway, I didn't ask for your opinion. You're either with us, or with them. And I won't let you die. Since I have no choice, I suppose I'll go to the fortress with you. Happy to hear it. Patrick, this Godric imposter still has soldiers with him. Their camp is located between Castle Black and us, we must be very careful. What's the plan? We have to get past them, but simply plowing through them without a plan would be risky. Our best chances lie in discreet observation. Watch over the girl, and I'll handle finding a way. When things turn nasty, I'll need you to remain by my side and defend the honor of the Night's Watch. Understood, Moors. Now, let's go, and be on the lookout for an enemy ambush, even within the village walls.
Balls, Patrick. Good to see you both still alive. What are you still doing here? Did you see the man who was with me when I left Castle Black? The one who calls himself Godric? Yeah, we saw him running towards the campsite. He seems to have been involved in quite a fight. He gave a few orders and left soon after. How did you succeed in escaping without a scrape? You weren't attacked? Godric's men have been trying to kill all the brothers of the Night's Watch since we found the girl. We immediately sensed something was off, so we left quickly before they realized we were fleeing. They were too preoccupied with you, my brother. Seven Hells. Those damned curs buggered us well. Lord Commander will be furious, no doubt. We've left furrows of bodies behind us. How many more do we have left to cut down? No idea. A pity. Well, we need to get to Castle Black, and we could use your help. Dick, Bayon, it's time! What's the meaning of this? My apologies, brothers, but the offer was too good to refuse. The so-called Godric has a fat purse. And frankly, Moors, I've had enough of freezing my ass off on this bloody wall. That's all it takes. A handful of coins to turn your heads. Traitors! My piss is worth more than your honor. them to hell why would they turn on us like that the imposter corrupted them they betrayed the night's watch their own brothers unimaginable i can only think of one thing that would cause all of this don't look at me that way i know nothing of this man except that he's not who he claims to be which does not bode well for the real godric we'll get to the bottom of this with the help of mormont as planned we need to be twice as careful from now on if some of your companions are traitors, there may be others. Perhaps. That's why we must reach the Lord Commander as soon as possible. I won't let the man responsible get away with this. It seems that our brothers died rich. Those halfwits! Gold is as useless on the wall as a suit of... Armor, is it? See. Some filthy coward paint.
Moors, we were expecting you. I see you've found what you're looking for. Isn't Sir Godric with you? No, Jor. That vermin tried to kill me. He's an imposter. What? Tell me. I need to know everything. Yes, and without Patrick's help, we might not have made it back alive. This man was carrying a letter signed by John Arryn himself. If we find out that he does indeed serve the King's hand... I believe the girl. John Arryn would never have allowed his men to attack a sworn brother. I hope you speak the truth, Moors. You said the imposter took flight. Do you know where he's gone? He managed to cover his tracks, but I don't believe that he left the area. He seemed desperate to get rid of the girl. He will not stop until she is dead. Or until we stop him. But that's not the worst of it. This filth paid some of our own brothers to attack us. What? I sent Theomar and two other men to the imposter's camp to ensure that no further misdeeds take place. I ran into them again on our return trip. That's when they attacked us. Apparently, our enemies had enough time to convince them to betray us as they guarded the camp. Now that explains it. We arrested some of his men as they tarried in Castle Black without permission. I intended to deliver them to the Lord, so that he could punish them himself. The incident appeared harmless, but now I fear it might be more serious than it seemed. We must sort this out. Bring the prisoners. We found out that your commander masqueraded as someone else, so he could manipulate us and use the Night's Watch to further his own ends. A serious act, punishable by death. You are his accomplices, and will receive the same punishment. We had no idea, my lord. We're just soldiers. This false Godric chose to defy the Night's Watch. He will pay for it, and so will you. Have mercy. We know nothing. Whatever his crimes, a man may choose to be punished, or may take the black. I agree, Moors. Even in the midst of such an ordeal, we must uphold the interests of our brotherhood. Do any of you prefer death to taking the black? Very well. Bring our new recruits to their quarters. These reinforcements will be a necessity during this troubled time. We still haven't discovered anything about our brother's betrayal. Some have already fallen by your hand, but how many still remain? The imposter continues to roam our lands, and we cannot even trust our own men.